What's up guys, it's Ranjo, and today I'll be going ahead and doing the Goblin, um, Heart Giant combo. And before that, um, as you know, in the, in the, dis in the, um, title, it'll be this. Obviously, you already know. So we're gonna go ahead and go into a few replays. I know a lot of people hate replays, but really, trust me on this, it is epic. Okay, now this person had a lot of epics. Oh, it was epic. Let's end this color of epics. Ah, uh, yeah, get it. Right, and yeah, it starts with a lousy witch and um, skeleton army um, type of attack. Um, like push, which is really not really good. Which is really bad, I mean. Um, really not good of a combo, in my opinion. And I didn't want to take any chances with the prince, so I placed down those spear goblins just to defend. And he did a really bad um, a rocket, and he should have done that at the start just to get a bit advantage in elixir, because he did not get as much value from that. That's a six elixir um, versus um, destroying a four elixir. Oh, was it five elixir? I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, five elixir um, card. And plus, it was already like eight seventy percent gone, like um, decayed, or decayed seventy percent. If that's the right wording for it. So that was not good of a rocket. As you hear, this is where it gets spicy. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I did not get the three crown for this, which sucked. But let me just tell you now. Um, Next we please will satisf satisfy you. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Right. When I, whenever I watch my videos, I'm just I always look at it and it always looks really bad. Like, yeah, the, the colors look bad. Um, I don't know why. Um, and also like, um. I forgot what I was about to say. Oh well, here we go. So starting with his main type of push um, is the Musketeer and the Baby Dragon combo. Which is not really a great combo. Um, but, yeah. Uh, can be good um, against someone who doesn't really have much of a um, great defense against air. But my, my, my um, deck is pretty well handled. It can handle air troops pretty, pretty well. Then he does um, really an, a non-needing baby dragon which died instantly not even getting one hit on my tower. Uh, in desperation because my my tower is so low I put down a um, babe, uh, not baby dragon um, a mini pack of just in time. Uh, if I did that a half a second too late she would have got in range and hit my tower as well as a spear goblin. I, w I was pretty happy that um, the baby dragon uh, splash damage did not hit my um, tower as well as the musketeer because he would. That was a good. That was a good value. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead. Look at this. It is insane. Oh gosh. This is when the deck shines. You wait until two elixir. No, not two elixir. I mean double elixir time. And not show your um, giant. Until the end, uh, well, a double elixir time, and when you have two spawner hearts, which is the goblin heart. Um, so, really, they don't um, suspect the giant. And also, with the heart spawning, it makes that huge of a crowd. So, if you're low in, in arenas, try the stick right in this instance. <laughs> so, we're gonna go ahead, as you see here, he puts a um, balloon. I put a uh, the minions right in front of it, so then it can like slow it down because it has to go around the minions, giving you an advantage. Uh, so if you want to know how to like do better against balloon players, there's one good tip. That is actually pretty important, and most people ha usually do that. Um, if you are going against someone with a balloon, uh, try try not to put um, a. Uh, minion horde because he can easily arrow it um, and it kind of puts down um, the elixir trade 
uh, on you because now he can his balloon will get there. And yeah, I'm just talking rubbish now. I see here his balloon does not get there except for his bomb. Ah, uh, I'm putting this out two times, uh, so I can really not talk about what's happening. Okay, this is where it's getting really good. So now I'm gonna put it out a normal, and look at this. And I put another hut. Uh, as you see here, the giant's going in. I get my spear goblins. I want to put a fireball, but then uh, I didn't, luckily. And th but I didn't have to because the barbarians just got absolutely destroyed by my spear goblins. Um, actually, my little brother, I showed him this, and I was just yeah. I showed both all three of the replays. Well, not the replays while I was playing it, because I knew I, it, the match has ended. I did that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get a crown chest for you guys with the same deck. So we're gonna go ahead and play. Right, I'm gonna go ahead. Ah, oh, this isn't really a good starting hand. Okay, we're gonna go with a mini Pekka. So then it can like kind of tank for the minions. A lot of people do this. They put like um, the most kind of like ah. Oh! No, don't, 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 don't do that. They put like the, the like really squishy troops, like goblins, in front of like tanky troops, which I find kind of stupid overall. Um, oh my! Oh, oh no! Oh yes, thank you. I am running super low on elixir. I'm trying to defend this. Come on, spam, spam, spam! Oh yes, that was perfect. That was perfect. Uh, oh my! Yeah, that, that was done. Well played there. Do I have the rage on this account? Because actually, at in lower accounts, it's um, more effective against higher level accounts. He leaves a, mus a naked musketeer. Right. Fireball that. Usually I wait for the fireball, but now I realize it takes a while for the tower to shoot. So it kind of gives me a disadvantage there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead place down this. I've got my crown tower. Crown chest, anyway. <laughs> crown tower. Uh, these are the crown towers over here, so don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try and tank there. I don't know why I'm defending that. Hopefully, it doesn't have any ranged. No, I mean, I mean direct, um, like shooting cards, like fireballs and stuff. Don't know what kind of nonsense I'm talk talking about. Ugh, my words. So bad. I'm so sorry. I'll work on it. I might even write script for myself. Oh, uh, that'll be stupid. Wouldn't I'm gonna put this giant here. Okay, I, I really want you guys to see this magic, so here we go. At this point, in lower arenas, you wouldn't put your towers right in. Oh, okay. Right there, because it would um, mean that they print, if they had a princess, they could just literally easily. Um, the princess would hit the tower and that building there. So, like elixir pumps. If you do like a mistake elixir pump, uh, that can happen. Okay, now I can just focus on defense now. I'm gonna focus on defense, not worrying about anything. In like, oh, he's going for that. Ooh, that's that's interesting. Uh, don't know why he's doing that, but okay. Oh, why? What is he doing? Uh, okay, we need to try and defend this, and I end this as soon as possible. Oh, come on! Fireball. Three. Okay. Good game. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now we're gonna go ahead and open the crown chest. Oh, it's barbarians! I haven't got it yet. Yay! <laughs> I have been waiting so long. Okay, we're gonna upgrade these. That was amazing, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, in the next video, I'll try my best to work on my talking. So, thank you and peace.